We are planting more seedlings today. So Stacia's got the filling these things. Go ahead. I don't know really if they work or not. Um, the ones we did earlier did not work. And we just planted some more on Monday. So we're working on that. And then, uh, Stacia, you, you take the tops and you kind of pull them over, fluff the dirt up so we can put seeds in them. Yeah, just, yeah, because you, you want it open so the seedling can grow. I think that was the first ones we did. We didn't, we planted them on top and didn't really put them in the dirt. So that was my bad. But we're looking at our seeds over here and everything takes, like these take 80 to 90 days. And I as well get started and learn as we go. Right, Stacia? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be a farmer when you grow up? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Even after all this? Yeah. So I just wanted to do a quick little update on seeds. These were planted a week ago. And they're doing really well. They actually are onions, and I'm not sure I needed to plant them, but we couldn't find onion sets, and I wanted to make sure we had some. We just planted these today. We're moving into makeshift um, Planters, on the left we have ooh, cabbage and then um, eggplants and tomatoes over here in the little apple crate. And we are having a little bit of trouble because we don't have enough light space. Down here are carrots and they're doing really well too. And here's the little greenhouse Mike bought me that started it all. Bought a light to put in here. Unfortunately, it's too tall for us to put lights on the other shelves, so we're just kind of making do. Here are sunflowers, which have gone crazy. It makes me think I'm going to have to do transplanting. I thought these went right into the garden, but those are kind of crazy looking, and it's only been a week. Then there's squash on the left. We're trying to get some sweet potato and potato starts going and ripening up some tomatoes. I'm still trying to figure out the best thing to plant herbs in to have some year round in my garden. So if, I mean, in my kitchen. So if you have ideas on that, let me know. So the key seems to have been using these grow lights and the plastic greenhouse effect. So we are out of space over here on the two. So I'm going to leave those onions right there. I've just covered these with plastic, hoping to get that greenhouse effect till they um, sprout. And let's see, this boy just dissected a crayfish, which I should have taken a video of, but it has nothing at all to do with our seeds. <laughs> do a little update of where we're going with the seeds at this point. I think it's been it's been almost a week since we've planted some, two weeks since we planted the others. So the big apple container up there has tomato starts and we're looking for pots to just kind of plant them in and they're gonna have to grow inside. The onions down there I need more room to plant them but I think I have a box out there I'll just plant them in. And the pot there is mint, and it still isn't coming up. So I don't know why I'm killing mint, because I've been told mint is a weed. So my nook is being taken over, like much of the house with our spring seeds we're trying to get going. I do have one little basil plant in there and some rosemary growing. And over here... I've moved to uh, anything I can find that I might be able to plant in that would be cheaper than buying trays and peat moss. So there's a black tray that I've already transplanted all those little seedlings and just odds and ends I can plant in. And the bucket with the blue lid is the compost, which we're um, going to build some bins. For now, we're kind of digging it in straight from seeds right into the ground. They also told me to start them inside, but the two don't go together. 
And they also said, the packet said it would take 12 days for these to germinate, and they germinated in two days. So we were scrambling. And about a week later, the squash started coming up. Obviously, it's not going to last either until, I mean, we it's snowing today, March 28th, so it's going to be a while until we can actually get these things into the ground. So we made some of our own potting soil, Stacia and I, and we found this under the bed storage container that we filled with dirt. And at first I planted everything a foot apart and Mike told me, well, you're going to transplant them all, so just get them in the dirt. They're doing much better here. I bring the grow light over for a few hours every day and kind of move it um, up and down so they're getting maybe three hours. And then usually there's some sun coming through here. So I'm hoping that's going to work. I'm sorry, that might be a little crooked. The, the dirty secret is I don't have a tripod, so I have the phone um, balancing on the crock with all my utensils, but that's okay. So what have I learned? Obviously, I'm a newbie to gardening in general. Always wanted to do it. We've lived in military housing, and they kind of frown on you tearing up the yard. So I've done some container gardening and had some success with it, but was really excited when Michael retired to be able to plant a garden. And then we moved into an RV for two years, so there again I dreamed of a garden, but it wasn't real practical. And we moved up here too late to have a garden last year, but here I am in Alaska, finally with a chance to have a garden, and this is not the ideal uh, location for a garden I'm finding, but I'm determined. We're having a lot of fun. We decided um, I couldn't find a lot of people who were gardening, so I read about 50 books and every seed packet and um, listened intently <laughs> to the people I did find who knew what they were doing. My first uh, set of seeds did not do well because I had that little portable greenhouse, but I had no grow lights, so we fixed that. Obviously, I still misunderstood, so I plant them inside. They're not talking about the little Jiffy Pot seeds and then directly into the garden because there's no way those things are going to last for eight weeks. There were roots growing all out the bottom and sides of them. So it's either going to be start them in that and then transplant them to something else or do something like I did with the table garden over there. Lots of dirt so they can stay in it for a while. Um, and I'm really running out of room. I haven't even done half the seeds I want to do. And obviously, uh, they're already taken over the table and window ledges and the nook. And um, we're going to need a greenhouse. But we decided it was a process. And we couldn't afford the greenhouse this year. I want to grow enough food for us to be able to sustain ourselves. And obviously, having never gardened, that's a huge thing. So it was overwhelming. And Mike and I decided this year was just a process. We were going to be learning what works and what doesn't work. So it's been a success. I've learned I need grow lights. I've learned I need to have lots of containers saved up so that I can transplant. And I will be transplanting several times before they're ready to go into the ground. There is no way I can wait till June to put things in the ground because up here that's when the frost is supposed to be done, but the ground may not even be warm at that point. And if I put things directly into the ground, our growing season is 80 days and there's no way they're going to have time to grow. So I have to figure out this seedling thing. And I think we're having fun with it too. <laughs>